Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Well, it's great to see you all again. Hi, Bill. Hi, John. How are you doing? Bill, doing right welcome. here in North Carolina. Thank you. Bill, welcome back to Celebrating Act 2. Thanks, John. Um, it's almost springtime. Mm. How is it? You know, people say in, in Southern California, we don't have seasons, but we do. And I recognize, I can. Yeah. Yeah, John, I, I, yeah. John, John, mud, rain, fire, and uh, <laughs> floods are not exactly seasons, but Those, yeah. No, but I actually, I see leaves fall from the trees and I see flowers mm. coming up in the springtime. How about, uh, it, it, it's probably more obvious where you are in the Carolinas. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it, it's obvious, but it's gradual. And of course, we welcome it. I, for one, welcome the longer days. That's for one That's for one thing, you know, back in the winter when it's dark at 5 p.m. I, I never, it's like I used to get used to it. And now for the entire winter, every night at 8 o'clock, I swear it's 11 p.m. I mean, it's yeah. like, it, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, love the, the lengthening of the days. I love the early onset of the warmer weather with the lower humidity. Mm. I love that. Now, there's there's something here in the southeast. I can't speak for anywhere else in the country because I've never lived anywhere else other than the uh, southeast of the U.S. is pollen, yellow oh, yeah. pollen. Now, if you've got a black vehicle and this time of year, you've got a yellow vehicle and this will happen for weeks. <laughs> now, the, the positive to the pollen, and I'm not kidding, the positive to the pollen is that it covers up all the glitter that's been left over since Christmas. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Christmas comes, a glitter bomb goes off in our house, and many people won't open their doors and windows in the spring because of the pollen. We open them up and just let everything get covered in pollen, and we don't see the glitter anymore. That's and good. then we vacuum and clean, and then it's all gone That's uh, funny. until next Christmas. Obviously, you don't have uh, uh, serious allergies in your household. Uh, you know what? Not anymore. My wife had allergies. This is a weird sidebar. My wife had the allergies, and I used to give her shots for it, prior to having our daughter. After she gave birth to our daughter, she no longer has those allergies. Wow. What a, Interesting. A cure, the uh, old farmer's almanac. Uh, that's a cure you could put in there. I would say having a kid is cheaper than getting the shots, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Well, do well, you do, do you any plantings or things like that around your house? Um, uh, to uh, celebrate springtime, or you just let the natural flora and fauna uh, uh, surround you? What, what or do we do any what's planting? planting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. We, we plant all the time. My wife loves her plants. Uh, what happens is in wintertime, we bring a ton of plants. In fact, right in front of me, I've got plants. There's hanging plants. There's plants on the other side of this table. There's plants up in our bonus room. There's plants in our office. There's plants in our dining room. Uh, they all come in once the first frost is uh, is uh, forecast. Then as spring comes, we start letting them out. And some of those will be planted into the ground. But she's always, uh, we're always planting azaleas or something. She loves her plants, man. So, yes, we're always doing something. And the first couple of times during the year, uh, during springtime, as far as the mowing and stuff, I kind of like it. By October and November, it's getting kind of old. <laughs> so, again... <laughs> This time of year, I, I love it. I love the rebirth of everything, the symbolism of rebirth of spring. And I love things turning green again. And I don't know, man, it's just life. Spring is a metaphor for life to me. Yeah, I love uh, I love seeing flowers yes. pop up in the spring. Yep. <clears throat> now in Southern California, there's lots of bushes and plants that bloom all year long. I think of bougainvillea, uh, famous bougainvillea. But... We have some tulips out front. My daughter went to Europe uh, a couple of years ago, brought back or sent back a box of tulips. Must have been a hundred tulips. So we put them out there in the front garden and it's just wonderful to see those pop up. It's just really spectacular. So yeah, I mean, it's just beautiful. Spring yeah. is beautiful. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, people with allergies, it can be a hassle. And some people do hate the pollen. And I, I, I truly do get that. I mean, especially on our cars. It's like, this is this is absolutely <laughs> insane. Yeah. But, I mean, it, you kind of got to have it. That's the way Mother Nature planted it. So that's what we've got. But, uh, yeah, I love the, the warmer weather. I love that our neighborhood swimming pool is going to open up. Uh, 
again, after after February, when we get those periods of rain and 40 degrees, I welcome spring. I really do. But except for one thing, Bill, I know having been traveled up and down the East Coast quite a bit, stopping at a Stuckey's in North Carolina, I know that your state fly, your state bird is a fly, the horse <laughs> fly, right? So It can be. With, with springtime comes the state bird, comes back, the horse fly. So... Yeah, they're, they're everybody. You know what? I bought one of those bug assault guns. You ever seen those? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, if you give me 10 seconds, I can go get one. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you load it up with salt and you pump it. It's like a pump shotgun. And really? you just aim it at, yeah, it, it gets a little messy in the house, but, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to miss. And you just, you know, well, we use them out when we're grilling out or something, a fly lands on something, bam, you blast it with the salt gun. A really? salt, like an assault gun, oh. but it's A S A L T. Oh, not an AK 47 assault. No, no. no that's yeah. a little too messy. Say. A little too messy, a little too loud. The neighbors uh, take umbrage at that. Yeah. But it works. It works. It's fun. And here I've been using a fly swatter. No, there. get an assault gun. This is, this is good. <laughs> sounds, like a, sounds like a very male way oh. to attack. Oh I, love, oh, I love it. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, well, now I know what springtime is really means to you. <laughs> it's just, thank you. It was sort of a psychoanalysis. Now it's all becoming clear to me myself. <laughs> and what's, the, what's your one of your favorite activities, because I follow you on Facebook, is that especially on a nice spring day, it's uh, not going to be too warm in the morning, but you get a, a nice cup of coffee and you go out on your deck. And um, uh, where can people see you do that? Uh, because I know that you post that a lot. Is there something they say they can do? They can do that. I'm not sure if I want to see let them see me out on the deck. But yeah, I go out there for my my morning rituals. I've got a set of readings I do, and I do generally go to YouTube. And you know, this is a weird thing. I take my blood pressure every morning, and I just uh -huh. got into this habit. I don't have blood pressure problems, but it's just part of my day to remind me to slow down and breathe slowly. And so I'll put on some kind of like mellow music, Van Morrison hymns to the silence or something like that and listen to it, slow my breathing down, get my heart rate down, get my blood pressure down. Um, that's all part of the ritual, but I like to do that. Yeah, when the weather gets nicer and a little warmer, I love being out on the screen porch and and hearing the birds singing songs just for me, man. I, and that's how I look at it, so that's pretty cool. So it's all part of the Embrace the Boom thing. Is this where you wanted me to insert that? Yeah. Because <laughs> that's yeah, what Bill I just never, did. Bill, never let it be said you and can't take a hint. And, okay. Well, and is nope. there a, a website I, address I, that I can put? I disagree with that sentiment about not being able to take a hint. Is yeah, there that's a website another, address that we can put in the lower pity. third? Do what? A, a website address we can put in the lower third. Come on. I mean, how Bill, obvious it needs to be. Bill Jordan, embrace the boom.com is a link to my 15 practices and also to the YouTube videos, which I have my own YouTube channel, Embrace the Boom of all things. But the notion is for baby boomers to live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Simple. Not easy. Well, That's I'll all. go along with that, Bill. We'll see you soon. Thank you. We'll see you and enjoy the spring. Embra no. Embrace the spring. Embrace it. Thanks, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.